An international speedway. That's what people are calling one of Madison's busiest roads after back-to-back -back crashes on East Washington Avenue. And a booster breakdown. For the first time, local health care providers are answering our questions and offering guidance about COVID boosters. News 3 Now at 6 begins right now. It is a problem we've been dealing with for months. Every other day, we're reporting on some type of crash involving East Washington Avenue. Just this weekend, we saw two crashes on the road. East Washington is one of the busiest roads in Madison and leads us to the heart of downtown. Brad Hamilton is live from along there tonight. Good evening, Brad. Yeah, Charlotte, people are calling it an international speedway and based on what we've seen, they're probably correct because we are now seeing more and more crashes reported in two over the weekend. And now folks are wondering why this is not stopping and when it's going to change. It's like Saturday nights, Friday nights, it's just a racetrack, up and down, racetrack. Dangerous activity that might have spilled into Sunday night right in front of Mike Green. I seen a bunch of fire trucks, I seen the police up there, and then I seen a car, I don't know, tilted on the side of the, of the um, like cliff by McDonald's. Green was walking along East Washington Avenue near Zyre Road when he saw the crash, something that he described as ugly and brutal. I do a lot of biking and jogging and it's just like a street race. Police shared few details this afternoon, only confirming that people were hurt. But Sunday night's crash wasn't the only one on the weekend along East Washington Ave. Saturday, four cars crashed closer to the Capitol on East Washington, Blair Street, and what police themselves said was likely a street race. Two people went to the hospital, and police arrested a driver for suspected OWI. I have, I've never seen a, um, a speed trap on East Washington. I've been walking and biking up here for the last 18 months. I have yet to see a speed trap. Madison police have been patrolling East Washington Avenue more this summer, issuing more tickets in July than any of the first six months. But we're still waiting for them to share requested data from August. Just a week ago, police reported the six pedestrian hit and killed along East Washington Avenue. And now Green is hoping the city steps in and steps up to solve this ongoing issue. We're planning on people being responsible to stop things, then we're in trouble because people are just not going to be responsible. So we need to enforce rules. That's how you get people to be responsible. We need to enforce rules, and the stick usually works better than the carrot. We did reach out to MPD and the mayor's office for comment on this story and an interview, but we did not receive one back from either of those organizations. Reporting live in Madison tonight, Brad Hamilton, News 3 Now. Brad, thank you. Be sure to read about the other crashes on East Washington Avenue and efforts being done to keep the roads safe through our mobile app right now. Police believe a woman missing from Cumberland likely died during a crash in Douglas County. Haley Anderson was reported missing on Friday and a statewide alert was issued. She was last seen 10 days ago leaving a casino in Turtle Lake. Her vehicle was found today. Police say it was involved in a crash in Douglas County the same day Anderson was last seen. One woman died in the crash but hasn't been identified publicly. Police have said they believe that woman was Anderson. Fitchburg police are searching for the person who shot a man at a party last night. Having about eight at a home off Fish Hatchery Road. Police say two people were fighting when that shooting happened. The victim in his 40s expected to be okay. No arrests have been made at this time. We could get an idea of who will serve as Fitchburg's police chief in the next few hours. The Police and Fire Commission is expected to share their recommendation tonight. It is down to Vic Sibanek, a police captain with the Salt Lake City, Utah Police Department, and Alfonso Morales, a former Milwaukee police chief. You might remember Morales was demoted last year over his approval of the use of tear gas and pepper spray during protests in Milwaukee, but a judge threw out his demotion and city council members approved a $600,000 settlement. It is a sinking feeling realizing something has been stolen from you, and it is a growing problem we are seeing with car thefts here in Madison. With these thefts, we are also seeing more items taken from cars. In 2019, Madison police numbers show 31 firearms were reported stolen from vehicles. In 2020, that number jumped to 90. Cars make horrible gun safes. They're just not the place you want to store your, vehicle, your your firearm overnight. And sometimes the kids, they just get lucky. They get lucky, they go, they rummage through a car or whoever. Uh, they may steal a vehicle and then there's a gun in that. That's almost like a bonus. Tonight on News 3 Now at 10, we share why cars are the worst place you can store a gun. A warm and pleasant night for us. Here's Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti, your certified most accurate forecast. Gary. 
Eric, uh, skies have been clear all day today. Temperatures were warm. We'll cool off a bit tonight and be a little cooler tomorrow, but still above normal temperatures are expected for this time of year. You can see on uh, visible cloud track, very few clouds across anywhere across the upper Midwest. Here in Madison, we started out at 55 this morning. There were some 40s to our north and west, but to our south and east, temperatures were closer to 60 degrees, and current temperatures are in the middle 70s in Madison, but still 82 in Janesville. We've actually had a, a cold front drop through, and winds have shifted to the northeast and temperatures are starting to cool down. The air is also starting to dry out. Dew points around 60 near the uh, south and western borders of our viewing area in the 50s to our north and to our east. So by tomorrow morning, we'll drop to about 51 degrees. Look for a sunny and slightly cooler day tomorrow with a high of 76, but we'll be back up into the 80s for Wednesday. I'll more details in the forecast in just a few minutes. Gary, thank you. The state's health leaders announced their support of COVID-19 boosters just hours ago. The CDC and FDA issued that guidance last week for those who received a Pfizer vaccine. Nursing home residents and anyone 65 and older are eligible along with those who have certain underlying medical conditions. The state also supports those who work high risk jobs to get vaccinated too, but did not specify what a high risk job is. Public Health Madison Dane County also touched on the need for boosters this week. They say expect to see them offered here locally sometime this week. We can really make sure that our community is well protected. We have the supply. Um, that's not a concern of ours, and we don't anticipate that being a concern. We Public health officials say they still want to get first doses into as many people as possible. They'll continue to reach out to those who are not vaccinated. Here's where we stand when it comes to vaccination rates in Dane County. Nearly 71% of eligible residents are fully vaccinated. Dane County has been a vaccination leader for months now, and here's where we stand as an entire state. As of this afternoon, nearly 1,100 people are being treated for COVID in Wisconsin hospitals. One man who spent weeks in the hospital because of COVID is Raymond Burke, a high-ranking Roman Catholic Cardinal from Wisconsin. He says his recovery is slow. We've been sharing bits of his journey for weeks now. He tested positive in August and spent weeks on a ventilator. He's since been released from the hospital. Emotional well-being has been a big concern for doctors during the pandemic. They say 850 people died by suicide in Wisconsin last year. Our Christine Tina Lori shares what the state is doing to support mental health. According to new data from the Wisconsin Department of Health, 861 people died by suicide in the last year. That's 11 more than the year before, but still nearly 60 less than the unfortunate record reached in 2017. Mental health experts had feared the pandemic would make things exponentially worse as millions of people lost not only their jobs, but their physical, financial and emotional health. Well, it's it's not something that anybody's really, you know, celebrating all that all that much. Alarming statistics have been popping up across the country. One in 10 Americans reported seriously considering suicide, according to a CDC survey last June. And here in Wisconsin, we are very concerned that the all the consequences and fallout from the pandemic have yet to be felt. Anna Moffett, executive director of NAMI Dane County, agrees local mental health trends are still concerning. We're in one of the top five states for the number of individuals that are being in patient care for self-harm and self-injury. Suicide is the second leading cause of death for people between the ages of 15 and 30 here in Wisconsin. But the good news, people are asking for help and getting it. So I do think it's great because we're talking about it more. And this is the part where we always like to remind you that it is never a sign of weakness if you need help to ask for it. There are a variety of different resources for you to use here in the Madison area, and I've put links to those up on our website, channel3000.com. Reporting in Madison for News 3 Now, I'm Christina Lori. The National Alliance on Mental Health, NAMI, Dane County, helped 3,500 people in 2020. You can learn more about the services they offer on our website as well. The large part of Dane County's proposed budget for next year is the construction of a new crisis triage center. County Executive Joe Parisi joined mental health advocates today to announce $10 million in funding for this center. The center hopes to keep people away from the criminal justice system and help them with all types of behavioral health challenges. We've put mental health teams in schools, providing over $1 million annually for these services that provide critical behavioral health resources to support our kids and their families. Last year, we launched a new grant program to reach more kids and provide mental health services in community centers. 
Part of this year's budget included $300,000 to plan the center. More information is still being conducted to learn the best practices for crisis intervention and jail diversion. Coming up, first the Bucks, now the Brewers. The excitement building around baseball in October. And it is a colorful connection to the community carried out through every brush stroke and splash of paint. The story behind this mural, next at 6. to think about maintaining. Good thing the 2021 Volkswagen Atlas and Atlas Crossport have a lower cost of maintenance than Toyota Highlander. Come into your Volkswagen dealer today and lease the spacious and refined 2021 Atlas SE Tech with 4Motion for just $449 a month. Home is where the heart is. And Feltco's here to make home even better. Right now, buy one window and you'll get one free. Plus, no interest for one year. That'll keep your home and your family warm, safe, and comfortable all year long. Buy one window, get one free, and let Feldco get your home ready for fall. Buy one, get one free ends Thursday. Call now. For quality windows, siding, and doors, call 866 for Feldco. Finding the right ingredients for a healthy lifestyle can be tricky. That's why SSM Health and News 3 Now are here to help. Our Time for Kids recipe for health experts use online conversations and on-air reports to answer your health questions. So tell us, what topics would your family like to hear about? What questions do you have? Use the handy feedback form on our Time for Kids page to share what matters most to your family's health. And together, let's take Time for Kids. No one has ever reinvented mattress shopping until now. The grand opening of Slumberland Sleep Solutions, where we've simplified, uncomplicated, and laid things out for you. Start with a quick rest match to pick your basic mattress type. You love memory foam. I really do. Then shop the information and rating system on each bed. Did you know you can get great back support with a soft feel? It's true and easy to find. Mattress shopping, reinvented only at Slumberland Furniture. He's got enough to think about maintaining. Good thing the 2021 Volkswagen Atlas and Atlas Crossport have a lower cost of maintenance than Toyota Highlander. Come into your Volkswagen dealer today and lease the stylish and versatile 2021 Atlas Crossport SE Tech with 4Motion for just $4.39 a month. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. Welcome back. Murals are becoming a way to celebrate heritage while also creating important conversations. Victor Jacobo shows us a street mural on Milwaukee's south side connecting art, community, and health. Next to Walker Square Park on Washington Street in Milwaukee, a bright and colorful work of art stands out from the gray concrete. Well, the title that Katie and I came up with is Floración, which means blooming in Spanish, and it's really just a person in tune with their surroundings, blooming with flowers and represents growth. Artist Whitney Sargado worked with Luna, Latinas Unidas en los Artes, to design the street mural. So the colors kind of like reflect the culture I grew up in, which makes me proud. The project was supported by the Wisconsin Bike Federation and the 16th Street Community Health Center. Luna's director said the the organizations recognize the correlation between art and health in a community. Health, that it isn't just about, you know, your the physical stuff. It's about how you how you feel in your com if you're feeling connected to the community, if you have pride in your community, that directly impacts your health. The work took several days to complete in July and the group included community members and participating to paint the mural. The best thing about community artwork is it's not just that you were leaving something beautiful but connections are forming. Now the mural sits near a park and a school. I hope they feel inspired and just feel kind of joy when they see it. Like I want I would really hope that um, kids especially walk away and think like, wow, that's really cool. Like, how did they do that? How do I get involved? Like, um, I, I want to make something like that. Sargado believes representation in the arts is important. While it was something that was lacking in her childhood, she hopes her work can inspire the next generation. I feel like in the community that I grew up, there was not any sort of Latinx representation at all. And to see something like this for me when I was younger would have been, would have had such a great impact. The mural also serves as a speed bump to help slow down traffic for cyclists and pedestrians. Well, Bucks and Six turned out to be big bucks for Milwaukee. We are getting our first look at just how beneficial the NBA championship was for the city of Milwaukee coming up. Plus, it's been a great day to check out the fall colors. We're staying dry and sunny this week. Your first one forecast just minutes away.
Island Furniture's 42nd anniversary sale. Save up to 42% off store-wide. Get 42 months free financing plus tax included on purchases over $9.99. Huge selection in stock now at A1 Furniture. Madison's locally owned family furniture store. Your eyes are everything. They're how you see the world and connect with others. At Shopco Optical, your eyes are everything to us too, which is why we offer everything to help you see better and look better. A huge selection of designer frames, convenient locations, and experienced optometrists. We're Shopco Optical, you'll see. Right now, get 40% off frames with any lens purchase. Your pipes need to loosen up. <laughs> your furnace needs to chill out. <laughs> no more Freon for your AC. <laughs> you don't need a working ceiling fan. <laughs> Nothing can stop me from causing problems in your home. Oh no, the homeowner's called Action Man and his action team. That's right, Pesky. Your problems are plunged. Call on Action Plumbing, Heating, and Electric at IWantActionNow.com. At U.S. Cellular, we know the local landscape, so we can help everyone stay connected for less. And less also means more, as in more choice. While the other guys may limit your options, at U.S. Cellular, you choose any phone and we make it free. That's right. Visit our store and any phone you see is free. Plus, get unlimited data for $30 a month and get the most out of our state-of-the-art network, wherever you choose to go. U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. The Burrish Group at UBS provides comprehensive wealth management focused on client service, financial results, and helping clients pursue their goals. Our multi-generational group of financial advisors allows us to relate to all of our clients. Every generation has priorities, and with our experience, we can find the fit that suits your cycle of life. Call us today to start the conversation. Furniture's 42nd anniversary sale. Save up to 42% off name brand mattresses and get 42 months free financing plus tax included on purchases over $9.99. Huge selection in stock now at A1 Furniture. Madison's locally owned family furniture store. Thanks to you, we've topped 1,200 donations this year in our Coats for Kids campaign so far. We still really need kid-sized coats. We want to collect 6,000 of those. Just bring them to any Madison area clinky cleaners by Friday, October 9th. Well, if you live in Wisconsin, chances are you already love the Milwaukee Bucks, but here's another reason to do so. Seriously, who can forget moments like this or the victory parade after the Bucks championship run? It brought in more than $57 million to the city of Milwaukee. That new data released today by Visit Milwaukee. Fans spent money shopping, dining out, and staying in Milwaukee. The group says hotel demand this summer was driven by those Bucks fans. And from hoops to baseball Brewer fans, they will soon pack the Deer District as well. The owners of the Bucks say they plan to host playoff parties for Brewer fans. They clinched the National League Central yesterday. Championship gear already selling out at the stadium store. The team with six regular season games left before heading to the postseason next month. Bob Dylan will perform at the Riverside Theater this fall. His rough and rowdy tour comes to Milwaukee on November 2nd. Tickets go on sale this Friday. Well, sometimes we run across video that is just too cute not to share, and that is the case here when band practice went to the birds. The Henry Vilas Zoo posted this video on Facebook. Keeper Taylor says it was part of an enrichment activity for the hens. The zoo just hosted its big 5K fundraiser yesterday and pictures from the race are now available online. I don't know if we want to hear it, though, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> a beautiful start to the work week. And Gary's got more details in your first one forecast, Gary. Well, you can hear this. Uh, there's not a drop of rain anywhere across the upper Midwest. And our weather, which has been nice the last couple of days, will continue to stay really nice all the way uh, through the end of the week. In fact, future track uh, precipitation through early Thursday morning. No rain expected across the state of Wisconsin or most of the area around us. Uh, out to the west, some showers and thunderstorms start to develop, and it's possible some of that rain could reach us by Friday afternoon. Better chances will be over the weekend. Three things you need to know. Be mild for tomorrow. Just a little cooler than today with high temperatures dropping back into the middle 70s, but we'll warm back up into the lower 80s for Wednesday and Thursday when average high temperatures should be around 70 degrees. And dry weather will continue through Friday morning. And then, like I say, we'll see a little better chances for rain, especially as we head into the weekend. But temperatures right now... Uh, 
uh, are comfortable here. We've actually cooled off as a cold front has dropped to the south. Temperatures south of the front are still into the 80s through much of Illinois, but to our west, temperatures go from the mid to upper 80s to the lower to middle 90s through the western high plains. That doesn't look like the latter part of September, but that's exactly the weather pattern that we're in right now. Much of the upper Midwest is dry. In fact, uh, very little in the way of precipitation through much of the northern half of the country. There's been a stubborn weather system we call this a cutoff area of low pressure aloft where the upper level winds just kind of swing around and bypass, get bypassed by the jet stream, kind of like a little whirlpool on the side of its stream, and there's really nothing to move it along. Eventually, that may start moving northeastward and reach us by the weekend. In this type of weather pattern, the weather changes very slowly. If you're in an area where the weather is nice like it is here, that stays nice for a while. And if you're in an area where you've got some clouds and some showers, usually you stick with that pattern and it very slowly changes. So it'll probably be the weekend before we see those rain chances increase here. Here's the cold front I was talking about. South of the front winds are from the southwest. North of the front, those winds have shifted to the northeast and started to cool us down. You can see temperatures still in the mid 80s in uh, Rockford. Notice the wind shift off of Lake Michigan dropping O'Hare to uh, 69 in Chicago, but inland temperatures are still in the middle 80s. Most of Wisconsin now is cooled into the 70s. And our dew point temperature is still in the upper 50s here, but notice to our north and west, those dew points drop into the 40s as that drier air continues to settle southward. It will be a little cooler for tonight. And on future track, those northeasterly winds will continue with low temperatures probably around 50. And then tomorrow, uh, temperatures probably in the mid to upper 70s. But notice as we head into tomorrow night and Wednesday, those winds start to become a little more southeasterly and that will bring temperatures back up into the lower 80s for Wednesday. And it looks like we'll probably be around 80 on Thursday. Again, that next weather system out to the west, probably not bringing us any rain here until Friday afternoon at the earliest. So our forecast calls for a high temperature tomorrow of 76 degrees with mostly sunny skies, just a little cooler than today. 7 to 10 day forecast, 82 Wednesday, 80 on Thursday, and Friday 77. But there is a slight chance for a shower Friday afternoon. That system to our southwest starts to move in for the weekend. We'll see some scattered shower chances on Saturday. Probably the best chances for rain will be Sunday and Monday, maybe even a thunderstorm on uh, Sunday, Monday. Uh, temperatures drop into the upper 60s. A slight shower chance continues into Tuesday, and then dry weather returns at the end of next week. Temperatures warm back up to around 70 degrees. And coming up in sports, the Badgers plan to bounce back after a brutal loss to the Irish. Why Graham Mertz, all well, the focus is on the future, not the past. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Looks like they finally got rid of that trip hazard. They pump it full of mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Where are the patched holes? Where's the splashed mud? It ain't mud, Jack. Concrete lifting technologies can quickly raise and level any concrete surface using cutting edge foam technology made in Wisconsin. Fast and accurate and eco-friendly. How did those guys do it? Where are the holes? Where's the mud? It ain't mud, Jack. .com. You deserve five-star quality five-star value, and five-star customer service. Because at Quartz, you're the star of our five-star Medicare Advantage HMO plans. You're the reason why Quartz offers the region's top-rated Medicare Advantage plans. With 2021 plans starting as low as $0 per month, with coverage for medical, hospital, and prescriptions. Learn more by requesting your free Medicare Advantage plan comparison guide from Quartz today. And because we're a five-star plan, you can enroll right now. In addition to offering five-star quality, Quartz has put together an all-star team of high-quality providers featuring UW Health. It's no wonder that 99% of our members stay with Quartz. Switch to Quartz Medicare Advantage. Call or go online to request your free planning guide from Quartz or enroll today. This is Ford Truck Month. Time to take a ride in the all-new 2021 Ford F-150 with an available 12-inch touchscreen, an available interior work surface, and for powerful performance on demand, a class-exclusive available Pro Power onboard mobile generator. These are America's best-selling trucks. This is Ford Truck Month. Inventory levels are coming back up, making Truck Month the time to get an F-150 with 0 for 72 and 1,000 retail order bonus.
Guys, if you're suffering from erectile dysfunction, Peak Performance for Men has a natural solution that can help you today. That's right. Stop wasting money on pill after pill that just masks your ED. Fix it for good. We can make the difference. Call Peak Performance for Men today. Tomorrow morning, we have a time for kids' lesson for parents. Chris Reese teaches you how to spot signs of stress as your kids settle back into school. And someone like Fields could be seeing some change towards the weekend. Chris Reese will have your forecast tomorrow morning from 4.30 to 7. Struggling might be the most positive way to describe the Wisconsin offense right now. Against Notre Dame, Graham Mertz turned the ball over five times, and the Irish turned that into 31 points. Not a winning, winning formula. And then there's the third down conversions. UW converted just one third down all game. Self-inflicted wounds aren't going to get the job done, and Paul Chris knows his team has to clean it up fast. We've got enough talent to be a good team, and... You know, right now we're doing something, as a team, we're doing some things that make it harder to win. Not impossible, but it really makes it hard. I'm not worried about the past. I'm, all I'm focused on is Michigan. Um, obviously, you have to learn from Notre Dame, Penn State, and um, make sure it doesn't happen again. But I'm not, I'm not focused on going on the past. All, all I'm focused on is the future and, and trusting my process. Kickoff for Wisconsin's game next Saturday against Brett Bielman, Illinois, is set for 2.30 on BTN. Now, remember, the Badgers have beaten the Illini nine out of the last ten times they've played, including last year's 45-7 win at Camp Randall. If for some reason you fell asleep last night before the Packer 49er game ended, you missed a good finish. 37 seconds left on the clock with no timeouts. Down one, Aaron Rodgers drove the offense into field goal range. And Mason Crosby and his leg took it from there. He drilled a 51-yarder to walk it off for the Packers and make that flight back home to Green Bay a good one. That was a big one. I mean, it was a 51 yarder. So, uh, you know, it's uh, you got to hit it true and hit it, uh, you know, hit it solid. And um, yeah, and then celebrating with the guys in the end zone, just seeing <laughs> seeing that energy and feeling that juice is uh, is what it's all about. And then carrying on into the locker room and, uh, you know, guys pouring water all over my head and, uh, you know, on, on everybody. It's, uh, you know, that's that's what this game's all about. It was really special. And for an over UW Platteville standout, Dan Arnold has been traded to Jacksonville. The Jags mark his fourth team in the last six seasons. Now Arnold is coming off his best year in the league, catching 31 passes for 438 yards and four touchdowns with the Cardinals. Gary? Oh, very nice out there. Skies are sunny. There's the live view from the Edgewater Sky Cam, live view from the Queen Bee Radio Sky Cam in Platteville. It's going to be a pretty sunset tonight. Temperatures have cooled down a bit. 74 in Madison, already down to 69 in Watertown, 68 in Juneau. It's that cooler northeasterly wind that's moving in. So the farther southwest you go, notice Janesville still at 82, Boscobel at 82. Temperatures in the upper 70s through Grant County. 51 for the overnight low temperature with clear skies tonight. Look for a high of 76 tomorrow with sunny skies. And then we're up to 82 Wednesday, 80 on Thursday. Friday, a slight chance for an afternoon shower. A little better chances for rain over the weekend with temperatures closer to 70. The showers end early next week and we drive toward the end of the week. All right, Gary, thank you. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at 6. Have a great evening and we'll see you back here at 10.